Ben, it's nice to virtually meet you. Congratulations on the series. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit of what we can expect from Renegade Nell. Um, so Renegade Nell is an action fantasy period adventure um, about a highway woman in 1705 England who happens to have superpowers. And because that is quite a mouthful, it sort of explains the fact that there's a lot. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of elements. Um, there's a lot of um, incredible drama from the pen of Sally Wainwright um, but and incredible performances, but also just the addition of VFX and action sequences and stunt teams and horse chasers. And it's... Um, I'm always nervous to use the term swashbuckling, but it is a bit of a swashbuckling romp. Well, it, it's a really good time. And uh, you talk about your cast, but it's all anchored because you have a wonderful lead in uh, Louisa Harlan. Tell us about her and what she brings to the table. So Louisa, you can imagine Nell was was a hard role to fill because we needed it. Like there's this bag of contradictions that she needs to be full of energy, but also exhausted. She needs to be morally driven but also really over it um and so we would we would be reading with people meeting people who were brilliant and they'd get one element right but slightly miss on another and louisa was sort of the first person that came in and just managed to find every sides of this incredibly complex lead um and was dramatically satisfying physically impressive but also funny and I think the funniness was because I come from a comedy background in the UK and finding funny actors it's always easier to get a funny person to be dramatic rather than a dramatic actor to tell jokes yeah she's she's really great in the series and, and I think that uh, it really helps her, the cast around her tell me what is it about this time period whether, whether we're talking about Renegade Nell and, and in similar fashions like Pirates of the Caribbean and other stories that, that make it such a great time for, for this kind of story. I think what the period, the time period does for this show is we, we're working in a world where folklore was believed and was told as like cautionary tales and it was sort of side by side with religion that these people were living in remote parts of the world and even <clears throat> in the UK, remote parts of the UK, where they may not have ventured more than a few miles out from where they were born. And just that threat of what's lurking over that hill or in that forest was enough to keep, people's, to keep people in line. And I think what we do is play with these, play with these sort of folkloric figures and it allows us to dabble with like horror themes and fantasy themes and yeah it's just a it's sort of a irresistible mix it's a lot of fun to watch on screen i i'm a sucker for for uh, storytelling like this just just because of that element it really broadens what you can do and what is necessarily believable i guess in that time period yeah. as a uh, as a director uh, in, in a world really with so many street uh, series are, are coming and popping up at different streaming services and, and outlets and, and TV channels. What is it, what is it that you're looking for in the first few episodes to make sure that you can draw audiences in? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think you get to, uh, in prep, I think we're sort of looking what everyone else is doing and you're aware it's like, oh, they're doing one of those at Amazon. Um, and blah, 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 Netflix have got one of these, and you're sort of aware of the competition. And like you say, it's a, it's a crowded marketplace. You get to a point where you sort of believe in it and you've designed it in enough detail where it's like, I think we're our own thing. And I think the best thing that you can do and we're encouraged to do by our team at Disney is just um, find your own identity and voice. And in a lot of what I felt my job was and responsibility was 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 to build something that worked for the worked for the story worked for the characters but had an attitude that you're not seeing elsewhere and I think we talked a lot about punk in Sally's writing I think Nell is a proper punk she's anarchic and she's kick-ass and I think just doing something it's do you know what the easy answer to your question is just Sally Wainwright I think 
she writes it differently and better than, than most people do. So it was just a, a question of doing the scripts justice in a world that felt, like you said before, it feels fully rendered and believable. Like these characters believe it. It's not dress up. It's dirty. We talked a lot about sort of dirt under fingernails. It's not a beautified world. It's, it's a dangerous world. Yeah, you guys do a phenomenal job with that. Ben, thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to uh, sharing this with the world. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, likewise.